what was last month? September? No, no, August. I honestly don't know what month it is. Like, ever, ever. Is there one video where I get the month right? I don't think so. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, All The Stories. Today I will be filming another book haul. These are mostly just the books that I bought in August. However, there are a few books that have already come in from September that I'm just going to go ahead and talk about. Um, so let's just go ahead and talk about all the books. So the first book that I want to talk about that already came out in September and I already bought it is When No One's Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is a thriller that is kind of been um, compared to Get Out and it's about gentrification but they made it into like a thriller and I'm really excited about it. It's one of my most anticipated releases for September and I can't wait to read this one. I think I'm gonna hold off on reading it until October though because I think it's the book club pick for one of the book clubs I'm a part of but I'm really excited to get into this one. The next books that I got in September already I'm so excited for and that is the special editions of Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Look at this spine! If you look in the spine, they come together to make a picture of a scythe, and then they're just individually so beautiful. And these are fairy loot editions, by the way. So this is the first one. It is Red Rising. It has the beautiful naked hardcovers and the red sprayed edges. Then the second book, Golden Sun, again has the beautiful foiled hardcover, and the edges on this one are purple. And the last one, which is Morning Sun, has the blue and in the blue sprayed edges and I think these editions are so pretty oh my god look at them they are so stunning oh and I forgot the back also has quotes on the back from each book the one for Red Rising is I would have lived in peace but my enemies brought me war for Golden Sun it is now I am their sword and I do not forgive I do not forget and then the one for Morning Sun is If This Is The End I Will Rage Towards It and I am so excited to get into these books because I have been meaning to read Red Rising forever and I am so excited that I now have these and I hope I like them because I did buy these special editions so let's hope that I like them. So all the rest of the books were books that I bought in August. So the next six books I'm not going to go into details about because they're all in my September anticipated releases video. So if you want to see more about what those books are about, you can watch that video. I'll have it linked down below, but I will briefly go through all of them and give you like one sentence descriptions about them. So the first is You Had Me at Ola and is I think one of the only books that I already have read out of this whole book haul. And I really enjoyed this one. If you want to see my thoughts, I will have my um August wrap up up hopefully before this video so you had me at Ola I really enjoyed it and the description I would give for this one is soap opera actress falls for her telenovela co-star the next book is the black kids and I would describe this one as black girl living in California during the Rodney King riots we also have Lobizona by Romina Garber and this one I would describe as immigration meets werewolves Then we have Where Dreams Descend, which is magic competition at a circus. And we have Red Bear by Jordan Afuenco. This one I would describe as black girl magic. And last, but maybe least, is Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. And this is Sparkly Vampire Gets His Turn. So those are all the books that I talked about in my anticipated releases video. And now on to the rest of the books that I got in August. The first one I got was Ruin and Rising. That is not the name. Uh, Rain and Ruin by J.D. Evans and this is a fantasy romance type story about this prince and princess from different kingdoms coming together and fighting in a war and they fall in love blah 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 sounds like my thing and I don't know anything about this one I just saw I saw this one on a recommendations post on Twitter about indie published romance about indie published fantasies and I read the synopsis and it sounded really cool so I picked it up. So the next book that I bought was Malice by John Gwain. 
I think that's how you say his last name. And I had seen this one on Goodreads, I believe, and I have been in a big fantasy mood, like I said in my last haul video, and this was just keeping the train rolling. I read the synopsis, it sounded intriguing, and I bought it. I'm not actually sure what this one about. I think this also has dragons in it, and I love me a good dragon book, so I would love to see it. The description has giants and dragons and angels and demons, so I'm just really excited. It sounds like a good time and I would love to have another good dragon fantasy on my shelves. I also got some more sci-fi books because I've been reading more sci-fi or trying to read more sci-fi and I got Gideon the Ninth and this one has been described by people as lesbian necromancers in space. That's the description I see all the time when I see this book. However, I've heard that's not a very good description for the book. Of course, I wouldn't know. I haven't read it yet, but lesbian necromancers in space is all I've heard about this book, and I am intrigued. Again, it is a sci-fi, and I have no idea besides what I just said what this is about, but I have heard nothing but great things. The sequel to this, Harrow the Ninth, came out last month as well. So hopefully I enjoy this one so I can go ahead and pick up the sequel because I'm looking for more good fan good sci-fis. So another sci-fi that I bought was a memory called Empire. I have heard nothing but positive reviews about this on Goodreads and I was very intrigued. It is again a sci-fi and I don't really know what this is about. I try not to read the synopsis of sci-fis because they actually all kind of sound the same to me eventually and kind of mixed together. But I am again intrigued and I've heard a very good thing about the characters in this book that it's a very good character story and I love a good character um, story, a character focused story. And I'm a very character driven reader. I love getting very involved in the characters so I can't wait for that aspect of this and I'm really excited. I also think this has some queer representation as well but I'm not 100% sure on what that representation is but I think I've seen that in some of the reviews. So I have been missing the vampire genre. That is where I got my start in my reading journey with Twilight. So I picked up Crave by Tracy Wolf. I have heard mixed reviews about this and I'm interested to see. I think it takes place in a boarding school and there's this girl falling for this vampire. Of course it is. That's what every vampire story is about. When is there, are there any vampire stories where it's a female vampire and a guy is falling for her because it's always like a teenage girl falling for like this old vampire there's never like an old female vampire where this young boy is falling for her like what is this i'm gonna need some female vampire representation somebody give me that so another book that i actually did get to last month was such a fun age by kylie reed this one i gave four stars i had a lot of thoughts about this one it was a very interesting read if you want to hear my thoughts about it please check out my august wrap up but I read this because it was the Black Hotties um, book club pick for, what was last month? September? Nope. Nope. August. I honestly don't know what month it is. Like, ever. Ever. Is there one video where I get the month right? I don't think so. But yeah, it was the Unfriendly Black Hotties book club pick for August. And I really, in, I, I really, um... I would say I really enjoyed it. I didn't really enjoy it. I gave it four stars. It just, it had its moments, good and bad, and that's not what this video is. It's just a haul. I'm not reviewing this book, so let me just tell you what this book is about. This follows our main character, whose name I have forgotten because... Amira. This follows our main character, Amira, who works for, as a babysitter for this well-off white family, and one day when she is taking care of the daughter of this family, she in the middle of the night, she gets called into work suddenly because there is an emergency and it's like 2 in the morning. So while she is out walking with this child, she gets accused of kidnapping her and it ends up going viral and that's not necessarily what the story is about. That's what the plot says, but that is not the main part of the story. It is mainly just her being a nanny to this child and... It also follows the child's mother equally as well. It's like a dual um, point of view story from Amira and Alex's point of view. And it just was, it was a lot to, it was a lot going on that needed to be talked about with this book. The next book that I bought was The Light at the Bottom of the World by London Shaw. I saw this on Goodreads and I thought this cover was very pretty. Look at it. It's very pretty. And I was intrigued by the cover and I read the synopsis and it sounded really interesting. It follows a kind of dystopian novel about how London has now sunken below water and it is like a underwater city. And I don't know anything other than that. 
and I am intrigued and the cover is beautiful so I I'm okay with that and the last book that I got in August was Star Daughter. This was another book that came out last month that was really exciting. This book gives me like the description gives me Stardust vibes and I love Stardust and it follows our main character who is half star. Her dad I believe is human and her mother is a star and she ends up having to join this celestial competition to help save her dad. And I believe this is an Indian mythology inspired fantasy story so I'm really intrigued to see how this is because it sounds really good. So that is it for this book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have recently purchased or read any of the books that I mentioned and you can leave your comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!